How did we get off track? Derailments are the most common type of railroad accident. They occur most commonly on switches and cause $2 million in damage a year. This diagram shows the correct positioning of a switch's points to allow a train to successfully go from point B to point A. The lower diagram shows the positioning of a switch's points to derail a train going from point B to point A. The purpose of this experiment was to determine the best switch design to prevent derailments when fouled. The first switch was switch A. This switch is locked in position with a piece of coat hanger wire and is the concept used on most American railroads. The second was switch B, a spring switch which uses a spring to hold its points in place. This switch prevents some derailments, but has the drawback that trains do not always hit it with enough force to move its points. This experiment tests a mechanical solution to this problem with the spring switch by using an added spring here to counteract the spring in the switch stand, allowing trains traveling at slower speeds with lighter loads to pass through. Switch A will cause a derailment 95% of the time, switch B will derail the train 33% of the time, and switch C will derail the train 11% of the time. The weights to be tested were 5, 10, and 15 quarters, and the speeds were the three dial settings on the transformer. The hypothesis was tested by running a flat car loaded with three different weights and three different speeds over a foul switch. All possible combinations were tested. The switch was tested five times under each condition. The train was assessed for derailment as it fouled each switch. Switch A's results were 100% derailment. Switch B's results were 44% derailment, and switch C's results were 0% derailment. This graph summarizes the data. The chi-squared test was used to determine statistical significance. Switch A was always statistically different from switch C. In the five-quarter trials, switch B was always statistically different from switch C. In the ten-quarter trials, switches B and C were only statistically different at the lowest speed, and after that there was no statistical difference between the two. Switch C derailed the train the least. This indicates that if it was used on real railroads, it could help them prevent derailments.